Where are they? Where are the grips? They're not in here. Come on! Is that them? <gasps> Here, and but they're not things. prepared. You haven't even taken them out of the bag? No. Are you as disappointed in yourself as we all are in you? <laughs> I know. It just makes it real. That is the million dollar question. I think that one I will confer with my dad. Um, but then he'll just say, just do it right now. So maybe I'll wait a little bit. That one I'm a little bit more nervous of. Um, but they've, they've been really consistent on the laser beam. Um, so there's really no reason I can't put them up on the high beam. It's just I'm just dragging my feet. Stop it. <laughs> You're not helping. Holy moly. <laughs> what? Arabians. Oh well, I you're ready. I was <laughs> told you're ready. I told you. I, to I was. I was told you're ready. I mean, do you want to see them? They look really good on a laser beam. No, people keep asking me when I'm gonna put it up on the high beam. Day. That's day what after I said your birthday. You were, that's what I said you were gonna say. Day after your birthday. You're waiting till you're 32. I was waiting. That's actually a good excuse, but. So you tell everyone. It's not valid anymore. I was waiting till I was 32. I was waiting till I was 32. Non 32. Well, I've got a stomachache already. I hope you all are happy. <laughs> Flashbacks of that what other one that I tried. Do you remember? Where I slid down the whole beam and got a giant boot? Yeah. yeah, that one. Well, you're 31. <laughs> no, I was younger than that. <laughs> now you're 32. So am I, I have to watch. <laughs> Eight years? <laughs> I mean, but you're 32 now, you're so wise. Yes. <laughs> that's why she's so scared. Yeah, that's so because wise. I'm scared. I 
like the beam got higher in the last five minutes. It's skinnier. Shaking. That was terrifying. I'm shaking. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> Still mad at me? She mad at her. I know. She instigated this. <laughs> You are in this <laughs> I had all of the all of the stomach going on. I was very scared. That was a good example too. I went laser beam to the high beam. No training wheels. Rip off the band-aid. <laughs> One's too early, one's too late. We need one just right. You know, I think a lot of it is just your body and, you know, what your body can handle, what you can do. You know, and if it's something you, the love, the heart that you have for it, you know, putting all those things together um, and then you can do anything. I think there's a lot to be said with the growth and education that you have from maybe being away from that competitive end and seeing it from other spots. So um, no matter what, she's got a fan in me and um, I follow her on Instagram and just go, oh my God, what is she going to do next? <laughs> Okay, so it like doesn't hurt, but I can feel it. Like on a pain scale of one to 10, it's like a one. But it just, there's that little bit of uncomfortableness where it's just like, I don't don't want to push it because it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's a lot better than what it was. And like I said, it doesn't really hurt. Like if I, if I absolutely had to tumble, I could, but then it might push it another couple weeks. Very close. <laughs> You're so bad. <laughs> Oh, stop. 
still in the bag, I see. Here. <gasps> oh. Scrape out the finger holes, wet them down. I usually scrape them against um, the cables of the bar. Scrape them again and put them around like a PVC or something, just like a bar that has a bar shape. Put them in there overnight. Could you be less enthusiastic about this? <laughs> There's lots of emotions involved. Um, I just feel like if and when I put on my grips, that's like, okay, I'm coming back. That's why it's so, that's why I keep like waiting because I feel like, like I said, I feel like if I actually put on my grips and do bars, like then it's like real. So are you putting them on on Monday? Out. 